Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review Grown Ups 2. Grown Ups 2 stars Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, Nick Schwartzen, Salma Hayek, Maria Bello, China Ann McLean, Shaquille O'Neal, Steve Buscemi, and Taylor Lautner. I know Grown Ups 2 is getting a lot of hate. The people that liked the first Grown Ups, no matter how bad the reviews were for this film, I still wanted to see it. I wanted to see it before the bad reviews, and I still wanted to really see it after the bad reviews. And so, I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys no matter what. I liked Grown Ups too. I enjoyed it just as much as the original Grown Ups, and in my opinion, it's a little funnier. There hasn't been a funny Adam Sandler film since Grown Ups. Hotel Transylvania was good, but I mean, live action wise, there has not been a good Adam Sandler film. I hated Jack and Jill. I really hated That's My Boy. And so with Grown Ups 2, not only did I want to enjoy it at least just as much as the first, but I wanted to see an Adam Sandler film that could make me laugh. And Grown Ups 2, it's a stupid film. Yes, it's really stupid. But I laughed a lot. <laughs> during this film. A lot of the jokes really made me laugh so hard. I just had a lot of fun watching it. Adam Sandler was funny here. Kevin James is funny here. David Spade, Chris Rock. Almost everyone in this film was funny. Steve Buscemi was really funny here. There is no Rob Schneider this time and going into Grown Ups 2 I was wondering how the film was going to work with no Rob Schneider. And actually after seeing Grown Ups 2 I was actually fine with the fact that Rob Schneider isn't here. I enjoy Rob Schneider, but I think the film actually worked without him. The film would be no different, to be honest. Jaquil O'Neal was very funny, too. It was good to see China Ann McClain here. She did good. Salma Hayek, she gets hotter and hotter. Like, seriously. I do agree that this film doesn't have much of a plot, but there is still a plot, and I do think the plot is pretty good. It's, it's decent enough. It doesn't have the best storyline, but it is pretty good to keep a viewer like me very entertained. The jokes, for the most part, were really good to me. You could tell the cast had a blast making this film. And Taylor Laudner, I thought he was really good. He was so freaking crazy. In my opinion so far, my favorite role from Taylor Laudner, actually, I just really enjoyed his wacky and crazy character a lot. I liked how it was him and all the other kids versus all the grown-ups. And towards the end, there is this hilarious battle scene that that just had me dying laughing. I completely enjoyed that battle scene near the end so much. My only issues with Grown Ups 2 are the poop jokes. Every time a poop joke was in Grown Ups 2, poop or fart joke, it felt really off. It felt really unnecessary. And it just wasn't funny. Nick Schwartzen. I don't like this actor. Like, maybe in real life, he's a nice guy. But the actor, I just don't like him. He's not funny at all. Nick Schwartzen never makes me laugh. And he's apparently a somewhat replacement for Rob Schneider. He didn't belong in Grown Ups 2. He was unneeded. And if he was not in Grown Ups 2, the film would be no different. I just hated Nick Schwartzen. And every time that guy was on screen, I was getting all... Ugh. I just couldn't stand Nick Schwartz and every time he was on screen in Grown Ups 2. If you're into stupid comedies, of course, you could watch this. If you really enjoyed the first Grown Ups, you could enjoy this. Or if you just enjoy every Adam Sandler film in general, that includes Jack and Jill and That's My Boy, you can enjoy Grown Ups 2 as well. I had a lot of fun. It was stupid, but it, it truly did make me laugh a lot. I laughed so hard with Grown Ups 2 for the most part. I give Grown Ups 2 3 out of 4 stars. Enjoyed it just as much as the first one, except in my opinion, this one's actually a little funnier. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!